The Toronto District School Board is calling for the province to get creative and come up with a plan to ensure students can re return to class full time in the fall. There are growing concerns about what failing to do so could mean for working parents, but the education minister won't commit to a plan just yet. They understood that remote learning was, had to be the case in the spring, but it was very, they found it really, really challenging and they're worried about their, their kids' mental health, their kids' education. And then they're also worried about the stress it's causing them because they're finding it very hard to do their own job. Frustration and fears. That's what TDSB trustee Rachel Chernos Lynn says she's heard from working parents in her ward about what life could look like come September if school doesn't resume full time. We are worried about um, families who are low income, who are from marginalized communities, but, but also women, because we do know that the brunt of the housework still traditionally falls to women. Asked today if parents should be preparing to work from home come the fall, Education Minister Stephen Lecce wouldn't give a definitive answer, only saying they are preparing for all possible scenarios, including full online learning, part-time class, or a full return to school. The government's preference is everyday, day-to-day -day delivery, five days a week in class. And the, the obligation on us today, and we are doing this, is working closely with public health to get to a point that we can um, scale up that plan. But the reason why we have a plug-and-play scenario of three different plans is because we need to be ready. We do not know what will happen in August. But that's not acceptable, says Chernos Lynn. The trustee says parents have told her online learning, whether full or part-time, just isn't feasible for working parents with young children who can't read or type on their own. The board is now writing a letter to the province asking them to find a way to have all students in class full-time. We want them learning, but we also want them safe. And um, so some of the suggestions have been where kids would take two courses at a time or even just taking a single course for five weeks at a time where that's the only course you'd have. And so the kids in that class are the only kids that you're exposed to. Same for the teacher. With many schools at or over capacity, there's also the idea of using public spaces like community centers, libraries, even churches as classrooms to allow students to be more spread out. That would also require more staff to be hired to facilitate smaller class sizes. Chernos Lynn says if the province can't find a solution, there will be dire consequences, with some parents telling her they'll be forced to quit their jobs to care for children at home. How are they going to keep paying the bills and providing for their families? If people can't go back to work and if women can't go back to work, what does that mean for the economic recovery of Canada? Now, that letter to the province will also be asking for more funding. The TDSB is expected to incur a $20 million deficit to cover the costs of PPE and other COVID-19-related expenses.